Hey there, YouTube. Spirit Smoker here. I hope you're all happy and well. Today we are smoking some of the uh, um, Foursquare English again. <laughs> it's a very reasonable blend. I can't really disagree with anything in it. I really enjoy it actually, so that's what I have been smoking recently. For my English anyway. And we're smoking it in my Owlette from Owl Pipes. Oh, this one was the gift from Jeremy Larson right here on the uh, YTPC. So I've been very much enjoying it, Jeremy. I hope you're enjoying yours. And I think of your kindness and generosity every time I sit down with this pipe. So thank you. I'm also smo uh, smoking, drinking some uh, Death Wish coffee in it, my new 2018 Death Wish mug. It's a little slightly chilly out here. We just had a ton of rain, so there was no sun coming into the sunroom all day. And now that the sun's all the way over there, um, it doesn't hit it quite as directly, so we're down in temperature a little bit, but it's fine. This is keeping me nice and warm. By the way, real quick message to um, Steve at Owl Pipes. You missed the last Hartford Reading Society meeting, um, but the uh, Owlet that Ox won, he said he was trying it out the other night at his friend's house, and uh, lit bowl after bowl after bowl, pretty much like third bowl sizes, but just to break it in, and he said he lit, I don't know, I forget how many he said he put in there, seven or so. He said it never got hot, never got wet. He said it was the most pleasant, um, one of the most pleasant smoking experiences he's ever had. So kudos to you and quick little shout out. So if anyone is considering uh, getting one of these Owlets, I definitely recommend it. So the reason that I am drinking... Uh, black coffee, which is my preferred way to take it, but the reason I'm drinking it at 4 p.m. on my day off is because for the time being, I have given up um, alcohol. In fact, I've given up a great many things that I'll get into in a minute. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, my fiance and I, my fiance and I found out the, uh, the date for our um, academy to start, so uh, we've been training before that and everything as far as getting physically ready. But I've also uh, taken it upon myself to change my eating habits quite a bit so that I can lose this uh, lovely spare tire that I have strapped to my midsection. It's an unfortunate part of law enforcement that uh, a good lot of it is sitting in a cruiser, um, sometimes hours at a time, very, very bored. Uh, and what a lot of people end up doing when they're bored is they eat. Um, especially when I was on third shift, that was my, my trap, that was my uh, my vice, I suppose. So I gained some weight. And gaining it is a whole lot easier than putting it on. I think most of you know that, probably. So, as a result, I have um, decided to cut all sugar and all carbs from my for my diet um, for a minimum of two weeks. Uh, the thinking behind two weeks, at least for the sugar uh, portion of it, the carbs, that's basically forever. 
um, for the most part. The thing with the sugar in the form of alcohol and um, various other things is that after two weeks, um, the sugar in your system is actually flooded out. It's actually detoxed at that point. So I've heard. My parents did a, a wonderful diet with a, a hypnotist actually last, a couple of years ago now, actually a few years ago now. And uh, it worked incredibly well for them and for my brother. My brother um, accidentally found out because they weren't supposed to ever weigh themselves, but the doctor accidentally let it slip. When he started, he knew that he was about, he was a touch over 300 pounds. I mean, he's probably, he's probably 6'1", so he's, he's tall, but 300 pounds. He was a big guy. So on this diet, in under a year, um, he actually got down to 190. And, uh, I mean, for him, obviously, it was a huge, drastic change in diet. He was the type of kid that would always have, like, a soda and um, eat really just a lot of crap kind of a thing. And so when you totally shut that off just like that, Obviously, it's way, you know, the, the whole process is just faster and, and more dramatic. Um, so for me, it's probably not going to be quite as dramatic. However, for my dad, who was, well, he was heavy, uh, but not that big. I mean, he's down to, I think, one, 170 at this point. And uh, actually, he doesn't even know how much he weighs, but just looking at him, that would be my guess. But people were commenting on him for a while, actually, right around the same time my brother lost all the weight, asking if he was sick. So, using, the, uh, using that theory or using that method, um, I'm trying to speed up my weight loss process so that I can... Um, really get heavily back into running and, and things like that. I've started, um, but it's a, it's quite a process. And for any of you who um, struggle with your weight at all, um, I'm probably gonna be doing some updates on how I'm feeling, because lately I've been very cranky. <laughs> it's only been about five days, but I have, uh, I mean, when you completely cut out sugar and carbs from your system, um, everything, you know, everything that someone says sounds like, do you want a cookie? It's awful. <laughs> so I'm, you know, like last night we were, I was absolutely craving um, ice cream. So we ended up going out, just getting some frozen fruit, just, you know, good, healthy or uh, frozen fruit and putting it through our blender and basically making almost like a sorbet kind of a thing with zero sugar in it whatsoever. But the natural, the natural sugars sort of curbed that ever so slightly and just, it made it a lot easier to to, uh, you know, not start biting my, you know, arm off. So, long explanation as to why I'm drinking black coffee, but, um, again, if any of you are, are trying to lose weight, uh, you know, it's tough, but, you know, it's, it's certainly doable. And, you know, but besides that, we also have our, um, our personal trainer who we see three times a week. He's a wonderful person, lovely uh, girl who um, understands exactly what we're going to be going through. And is uh, kicking our ass accordingly. <laughs> So there's that, and that's a lot of fun. And um, if I didn't already mention it, I can't remember if I did. My fiance and I also 
um, have found our venue for our wedding. And pending a uh, pending putting down some deposits. Um, and assuming that the pre cana for uh, getting married in the Catholic Church goes well, um, our date is uh, November 9th, so of 2018. So there's a lot of things to think about, a lot of things to to talk about. But the good thing is, it is all good things. I mean, I, <laughs> occasionally I'll just sit here and have a pipe and not do a video and <clears throat> my head at, the, at that point is just flooded with, with all the blessings in my life right now. I just, there's hardships for sure. You know, there absolutely are. There's, you know, money is generally tight, um, especially after you buy a house and it requires renovations and things. That's normal. It's, I think it's something to think about or even pray about, but not necessarily to worry about. And I can also cool it on the spending of uh, pipes and pipe tobacco, seeing as I have a good plenty uh, at the moment. Every time I look at my tobacco cabinet, I wonder how long could I go if I were to smoke one pipe every day? How long could I go? And I think the answer would be, uh, <laughs> um, I'd probably have grandkids probably by the time <laughs> if I did one pipe a day. I have quite a bit right now, and I'm thrilled because I love it, but. No need to spend more, you know. I think what I'll do is I'll sit here and uh, finish this up and just kind of think of all the good things in my life right now. I hope you all are having a good time in your life. Um, if you have any good things that you'd like to share, um, do a video response or write a comment because I'd love to hear about it. And if you're having any rough times and you'd like someone to think or pray on you, then um, also video or comment for sure I you know I'm always always willing to uh, to pray for someone in need so thank you all so much have a wonderful day